Well, food on everybody's mind, maybe beef on your holiday menu. Today, uh, our guest has some tips and tricks for the perfect roast, and there'll be no leftovers. Karen Schaefer is the Minnesota Beef Council's Executive Director. She's joining us in the Carol Evan Kitchen Hi, for today. Guys. Hi, and welcome to our kitchen today. Thank you for having me. Well, prime rib, you know, I think of turkey, ham, and prime rib. This is a big one right now. Prime rib is a staple holiday meal for most people um, around the holidays or the New Year's. So and there's some, the butchers and the markets have some real good specials going on right you now. You know, you can find a great cut of beef at your local grocery store. Um, talk to your butcher. They will give you the exact portion size you want. Today I'm featuring a prime rib roast, um, but there are other great roasts that can be used uh, for holiday roasting too. Let's talk about how to select. This is the beautiful piece of meat there. What should we be looking for when the butcher shows us something? So we talked about um, the way that we grade beef has a lot to do with the internal marbling. That's the little flecks of, of fat that mm -hmm. are deposited inside the muscle and that's going to allow for great cooking and it'll fall apart and be very tender in, in your mouth. Um, we're looking for probably about a half a pound per person for a serving size and uh, most of the butchers will tie it for you so it keeps a really nice shape while it's cooking. It helps you as you're cutting it. it it's a guide. Yep. Slicing on, on into it. Uh, you have one that is prepared here. Preparation is a big thing. I think some people if they don't do this often, which is most yep. people, uh, they think they have to do a lot to get it ready but you're saying not so not much. Not too much. So keep in mind, it's usually a pretty big cut of meat. So I would suggest taking it out of the fridge about an hour before you're ready to cook it so it can kind of bring it up to room temperature. All I did for the prepared uh, rib uh, prime rib here is I did salt and pepper and garlic and I was a little heavy with my seasonings uh, because it is such a large cut, but it definitely is going to keep it simple and flavorful. Now, most people often ask the question about how to prepare it and how to cook it. Yeah. You can easily use one of these roasting pans, which um, people might have for making their Thanksgiving turkey. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have one of those, a great trick is to get a disposable one and crush up a little bit of uh, tin foil and make your own little uh, lift off of the bottom. And a lot of those fats then drain into that. Drain it and it allows for full circulation of that meat. So another thing is how long to cook it. You have a big piece of meat like this. The inclination is to leave it in there long. You know, there's a couple different schools of thought. You either go high temperature mm -hmm. and then drop it down very low. Um, but I think for one of the most consistent cooking strategies would be to put it at about 325 mm -hmm. for a couple hours, depending on how, how big of a cut. But the biggest key is a thermometer. You want to insert the thermometer um, probably right in the center of it and get a good read. And when it's about 10 degrees um, less than where you want the ultimate ending temperature to be, pull it out and just let it rest. Sure. And it all is according to what your own tastes are. Because yep. I know a lot of people, they love these rare. Yes. You know, so when we just said couple hours, that's not, not what not some not people not. would do. You wouldn't do that. Uh, these are great information. And you have some recipe ideas that the Minnesota Beef Council has we as well. We do. We have hundreds of recipes on the Minnesota Beef Council website, which is mnbeef.org. And again, you can search those recipes by the cut, whether it's a rib roast or any type of, of festive activity. Well, the happiest of holidays and Happy Thanks. New Year to you. Okay. Uh, we have recipes, as mentioned, at carolevan.com. You can also find the tips there. Uh, just search under the 4 p.m. show page.